Hello and welcome to my studio. Um, welcome to another instalment of my new YouTube channel. I'm still trying to get to grips with things, including the um, camera setup, but I thought I would try and get a little bit of my desk and my studio area in whilst I show you my little travel kit and my favourite items that I take with me when I go on my travels. So, uh, today it's all about travel kit, small things that you can pack into your bag and take with you. Um, a little plein air kit or plein air, however you like to pronounce it. Um, I like this uh, little, uh, pe basically a pencil case by a company called, um, oh, let's have a look, Designed by Arrangement. And I like to um, take this and a few other things, as well as one of my favourite sketchbooks and um, some of my favourite brushes. So let's get into this. Here is the little kit. I've left this little plastic tag on because occasionally I hang it up on things, but that was just part of the labelling kit. But inside you can see I've got a range of brushes and some paints. So I'll take a little overhead shot and show you the breakdown of those. Now, my favourite sketchbooks um, are by a long way the Moleskine or Moleskin um, sketchbooks. They do a variety of sizes. This size um, is a sort of A, uh, it's A6 um, portrait and you can paint this way up and it has excellent quality watercolour paper inside. Um, and I use this whenever I go travelling, I do as many little sketches as I can and I find that the paper is just the, just thick enough so it doesn't um, bend but not so thick that you're really sort of carrying around a bulky sketchbook. I tend to prefer these ones or the really small ones which I take with a min even smaller kit of watercolour paint and that and that together forms a not too bad, bad size wise kit of stuff that fits into most bags, even my handbag. So this is the little kit, it has a couple of pockets on the outside which you can fit things into but as well inside there's um, plenty of space for a variety of pens and brushes and a couple of pencils or a ruler. So I tend to have a variety of things. I've got my little craft knife which I use to sharpen my pencil. These tend to move around within this space quite a lot um, because I use it so much. I've got a variety of brushes. I tend to have I really like flats, so I tend to have a couple of flat brushes, um, a couple of points or rounds of a variety of size, usually one that's for fine detail, and I do try and keep the little plastic lid that comes with it just to keep the, um, try and protect the point on it. Doesn't always work, but it, um, it helps because sometimes they can get squashed in these pouches. And then I have a white gel pen, or a white brush pen. I've got both in here at the moment. And also one thing that is missing, which I took out the other day, is a couple of fine liners. So I usually have a couple of different sizes uh, or a biro. And I've also got a fantastic biro uh, that has different colours in, which again, I think I took out the other day and borrowed. So you can get in um, a selection of those pens and brushes in there and it's it fits well and I've even got a little ruler and then in this section I usually have my uh, white gouache my zinc white which is my mixing white or you could have your titanium if you wanted to keep it just for your highlights that usually goes in the bottom here I have an eraser a couple of bulldog clips for helping to keep my uh, uh, paper down and I have this really uh, useful wristband, which another artist, Leslie Strauss, recommended. You can basically put this on your wrist and use this to clean your brushes. So if you have a um, one of these lovely water brushes, you can squeeze the water out and clean it on there, which is a really useful uh, tip. Thank you, Leslie. That was one of the best tips I've heard. And it, it's quite eco-friendly because you can just take this off and pop it in the washing machine and clean it from day to day. So it works really, really well. Sometimes I have a bit of kitchen towel in there as well, but I try and generally stick to that. And then this is my little travel pot of gouache. So if I just undo this, you can see that I use it a lot. 
The gouache inside here has a really good tight fitting silicon lid that basically just comes off like that. You have a little mixing area here and the paints. Now, these paints are a, a mix of different gouache, but they're a lot of my Winsor & Newton ones, as well as my Dale Rowney. And I just squeeze a small amount of these into these uh, segments. And when you um, want to use them, if they have dried out, they stay fairly wet for quite a long time. But if, you, if they do dry out, I have a little spray bottle um, and a fan, which I just ch -ch -ch spray onto there to re-wet them. You can get really small atomizers, which I'm just about to order on Amazon, which will fit in here because the bigger spray bottle that I've got. So this spray bottle, you can just spray your paints and reactivate. This comes with a fan. It usually slots together like this, which is quite useful if you also want to dry your work you can switch the fan on uh, you can dry your work with the fan and it works really really well but i'm going to get a small spray bottle and put it in here and that is basically my kit if you have finished with your paints you just must 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 put the silicone lid back on you can clean up your palette if you want i don't worry too much from day to day because I usually start afresh with a new uh, thing and they has a really good positive clasp on it. Um, I'll try and put all the links to all the products in the um, blurb underneath. Uh, this particular pot did actually come with one of these little pop out silicon tubs. It kind of slops together like that, which is actually really good. Um, but for the purposes of this um, case it wouldn't fit in. Sometimes I will take this separately as a separate item but if you are using these water brushes you don't tend to need to have a pot as well. So that is basically what's in my little travel kit and as you can see it zips up. Um, I sometimes have a viewfinder or some other little bits and pieces in this front pocket but that is a really great kit, which alongside my sketchbook is pretty much all I have to take. And as you can see, it's a good size. It's probably about eight inches by four inches and about four inches, five inches deep as well. So it's pretty good. And as for the sketchbook, this is, as I say, it's by Moleskine, Moleskine and I really love them. I use it for everything. I use it for sketching ideas. I use it for, you know, um, little pen and ink drawings. Just everything, basically. I can't stress enough how lovely it is to have sketchbooks. I have a whole shelf of them and I keep them all so that I can look back in years to come. But that is my travel kit. So thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will put all the links for all the products that I prefer in the bio below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll join me for the next one. See you soon, have fun painting.